PP90 was too, but that was a really late. Well, that was really hard to get. All automatic weapons are kind of like hard. Yeah, kind of, Modern but that made Warfare sense. Two. It's logical. Oh, God. Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 had way too many weapons at the point. Team Deathmatch. Yeah, shotguns and sniper rifles pretty much insta kills. And uh, the perks. The perks were awful. The two is a ring. Yeah, there was tiny little things, but dude, that's to be expected on a game uh, like that. Hell, I guess to be expected in a game set up in this style, where it's supposed to be close quarters, one v you know, more or less small, uh, small, small conflict, close quarters. Okay. Um. And Modern Con Four had these fucking too, Zeus grenades. Way too heavy of a focus on the kill streaks. Modern Warfare Two. Modern Three was bad yeah. too. Ultimately, the, you know, like I said, the, in my opinion, the most balanced multiplayer out there for shooters is probably Homefront. Yeah, because, yeah, sure, there's a bunch of guns that are pretty powerful. Actually, they uh, ended up fixing a lot of issues. Like, the overpowered guns were as follows. Oh, God, I'm going to die if I stay here. Yeah, there were some underpowered guns, but more or less everything was about on par with each other, and it wasn't a forced balance. You use you had to use logic. For instance, if you're gonna use a going to be a distance, you use a sniper rifle. If you're not using a sniper you rifle, you don't want to use the sniper rifles. Uh, no, yeah, they were. You don't want to use the bolt action one ever. Yeah, if you can, I dude, here's the thing. I once picked up somebody's gun with a 10 kill streak. I swear, either they cheated, or oh my god, I don't even know. I don't want to know. Yeah, I didn't we manage to get I think the best we ever got on that was like an eight kill streak or something. Fucking goddamn it. On that one. I think we got like a six or an eight kill streak or something. Yeah, the bolt action. Headshot kill yeah, you had to shoot people in the head with that one or get uh, hopefully they were severely damaged. Because the bolt action was three seconds long. I had I didn't even have cover and that guy lost. The other guy just fired one round or two though, he stole my kill. Well, that's because that, to be fair, that M9 was amazing. No, it wasn't. It was like 7 hit kill. Dude, it was a 7 hit kill without, with a no fire cap. And it wasn't 7 it was more like 5, I'd say. No fire cap, and his range drop off was pretty damn far. No. If I don't die here, yeah. Yeah, no, the thing I liked about that game, though, was, uh, yeah, the M200s was just miserable. No matter what, they would lose. That's just not fair to compare anything to that. I probably said that. I wouldn't say that's the worst gun ever in any first-person shooter online uh, online multiplayer game. But out of all the ones you've played. But out of all the ones I've played, yeah, I'd say that's probably one of the best. Of course, I mean, yeah, one of the worst. I don't. I, you know, I'd have to think about that a little bit. But it's probably the worst. I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something in a. There's something that, you know, it, you know, maybe, it, like, yeah, definitely the worst standalone. If I was to take that gun versus anything, that would be by far the worst, no matter what. But in comparison to other guns in, that, in the game, I could, you know, it, with the game mechanics, there's probably other ones that are far, far dumber to use. The G3 is horrible in this game, in this game. Yeah. Yeah, no, um... Here, you wanna play? I gotta take a piss. You don't know how to do this. Enemy UAV is going on. Very good. Our UAV is on mine. in my opinion on the uh, on that game is unlike a lot of other games it's not forced like a thank you for totally just what were you talking about in here
back to the controller in a second. Back controller. Mine! Mine! Dick. Alright. Alright. What did you want to talk about? Are you AV Balancing AV issues in Black Ops? Yeah! Some machine guns were some machine guns were ridiculously overpowered and if you're using an assault rifle. Pretty much everything had its overpowered way in some way, shape, or form. Enemy UAV is there! Except for the, except for, yeah, the snipers are bad early on. You couldn't they had it set up so you actually had like when you scoped in, I'm like you see out here, when you scope in, I'm basically ready to start firing at whatever's over there. Black Ops originally made it so when you scoped in, you had to wait, like, I think, what was it, like, almost a minute or so, it felt a like? Second. Yeah, no, easy. No, it was longer than that. I'm knowing that much. But, you know, you had, to, you had to, like, scope in and let the thing settle down for a second, you know? Like, what would realistically happen if you had a shooter? Damn it, he got me before I could pull the trigger. Call of Duty is too fast-paced for realism, though. Yeah, it's too, way too fast-paced for realism. This is, a, this is more an arcade shooter than anything else. Not an arcade, I mean, a... Uh, how many bullets did that guy take? Uh, he got lucky, I was shooting through the wall. I've been <laughs> I, I had like seven hit markers or so. We're, ta we're talking seriously about stuff, I wonder we're going to shit. Unlike most commentators though, even though I'm going to shit while talking about the while talking about stuff, I'm still gonna keep talking, and playing, and uploading all this stuff. Because I don't care if you think I'm shit at this game, because I know how good I am. Whatever, I'm just gonna... Uh, you can do that if you want. That car was gonna blow up behind him, I don't know why he was sitting there. Actually, it wasn't. I'm letting you play here. Fuck you, no. I don't... Yeah, that's a pretty good one, yeah. I just want to play some more... I wanna... I'm trying to get headshots with this gun, dude. Yeah. A lot of the guns were... Yeah, this. Yeah, the. Yeah, unlike although, in my opinion, unlike most other first-person shoot, uh, most other than the Call of Duty series, the uh, overpowered gu there was a spread-out system of overpowered guns that did different things individually, that made them overpowered because of a total thing. Thanks for the headshot. Oh yeah, but unlike with the rest. Yeah. Jacket, Especially if you played Dem or any objective games, you had to, you had to use Flash Jacket or Ghost. Everyone's like, favorite game, everyone's favorite perks, Yeah, the perks were kind of annoying, but, uh... Then again, uh, for most of the annoying ones, you can tell when somebody had them, because they were the first perks. Or second chance, yeah, you can kind of tell with second chance. Second chance is pretty obvious though. Oh, that guy was a guy? He was alive? I know! It's over that guy behind me. Darn it. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, like you could tell because that's what they did. I like that. I wish they brought that back was, uh, you know, what perk you chose is what, uh, what your, uh, what you would look like. Yeah, instead of assault rifle or snipe rifle or whatever the fuck else what it was. I don't, that always bugged me. I'm like, okay, sure, uh, you know, like it didn't really, it wasn't that big of a deal originally in black, in, uh, MW2 because, you know, that was the only, you know, nobody knew about it, nobody, no, nobody did Black Ops style, uh, perk system. Then they bought it, then they brought it, in MW3, they brought it back from MW2 style. You know, I can understand that they probably, they, you know, that was their style. Yeah, that would make sense. It was their style, it makes sense. Uh, but then Black Ops 2, they came back and they're like, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna get your, uh, look of your, your character off of what your first perk, off of what your gun is. I'm like, why didn't you guys go back and do what Black Ops 1 did? Oh, it doesn't matter because that level of customization came back with Coyote and Ghosts, which is a game. My kill. You don't get to steal my kill? I'm probably not going to. I'll probably wait. If I ever do buy it, it will probably be, uh. Maybe. After. It'll be sometime after Christmas, most likely. I'll, I'll probably only end up buying it. Uh, I'll wait until I hear whether or not it's a really shitty game or a decent game or what. I'm assuming it's gonna be shit. Although, Infinity Ward has recovered from what they did in MW3. I don't think it any neighbors. Yeah, I don't think so. And the fact that they were, like, so, that they were, I think they're planning on releasing it early on Xbox One or something like that isn't gonna fuck them over too a little bit. Yeah, no one's gonna... Because, yeah, Xbox, the Xbox no one, one is going to shit. Xbox one. I don't think anyone's gonna... Yeah, even though I'm playing the Xbox now, and I honestly love the controller style of, I like the control, the only, literally, the, the big thing, the one sole thing... Mm. I like about, um, the 
Xbox One is its controller. That's it. 